Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling, we could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. And get in that car Oh gente, bom dia! Desculpa, eu falo muito pouco português so Paciência, por favor um, Meu nome é Pritinda Minha nossa mente é de Índia uh, Quando eu 18 anos Eu viajei para Europa e eu moro lá para seis anos e depois uh, eu viajo na Estados Unidos e lá eu moro para 35 anos e agora uh, porque minha esposa é brasileira uh, nós moramos aqui uh, na Bahia Brasil Brasil é um país muito lindo. Para mim uh, é um paraíso. Eu gosto muito minha nova vida aqui com ela. <risos> minha grande amor. Ela é minha grande amor. <risos> Bom dia para você e até mais. Tchau. So every Saturday there's a farmers market that takes place close to where we live um, and I've got a hair stuck in my mouth <laughs> it's time to <laughs> trim my mustache anyway what I was saying was every Saturday morning there's a farmers market that takes place not too far from where we live and I'm at that farmers market right now uh, it's 9 45 in the morning things are just getting going and it goes till about uh, 12 12 30 uh, and a lot of people come in to buy all kinds of organic fruits and vegetables listen to music and so on and so forth so my game plan today is to sketch something that will uh, then be painted at home uh, in my studio setting but it will be based upon what I see in fact I'm looking at a bunch of people buying uh, parsley and bananas and what have you and others are on their phones and some are just chilling uh, I, I hope to sit here for a couple of hours and sketch something uh, that I see in front of me so let's see how that goes so it's been four or five months since I've picked up a brush or a uh, a pen to, to sketch or, or draw anything. Uh, I've been just not feeling motivated, but today something grabbed a hold of me. Um, and Elsie's at church this morning because she's a Seventh day Adventist and this is a Saturday morning. I thought this would be the perfect opportunity for me to grab uh, a piece of paper uh, uh, and my fountain pen and sketch something. Uh, and what a, what better place than to come to this farmer's market that takes place not too far from us every Saturday morning from uh, about 8 o'clock in the morning to about 12. Uh, I can't wait to sketch. Uh, let's see how that turns out. I've been here for about three hours in the plaza and I've been randomly drawing people as you can see and I ran into this group of people playing music beautiful beautiful melodic music and a friendly dog so I just felt compelled to sit here and I only had space to add one person in my drawing and that's the gentleman singing over there and that's him over here so he gets becomes part of the picture oh yeah let's see me amor I had a big dream last night which dream do you remember this show many years ago it used to be called uh, I dream of genie yes in Brazil they call genie El Genio okay so in this TV series she would go like this and it would be like a bing and then yes. something would change right so she'd go yes. like that 
said, I don't have a blonde ponytail <laughs> yet. <laughs> but so the dream I had was of this very talented artist. You know what her name is? No. Her name is Duri Vasim. Duri Vasim? Duri Vasim. Vasim. Yeah, yeah. So for those of you that don't know Duri, she's an amazing painter and she lives in California and I've never met her. But we became friends through art and we're connected now on Facebook and the link to her Facebook page is right here in the description. You got to check it out. She's very, very talented. So I had this dream about Duri and in this dream, I'm just envisioning being half as talented as her because there's no way I can be completely as talented as she is. She's just amazing. You know, she studied art in, in Lahore at the Punjab University or something like that. And you know, my parents were born in Pakistan. Do, do you know that? I do, This is yeah. before Pakistan became Pakistan. It was all one country. Uh, and uh, so Duri speaks Punjabi along with Urdu, just like I speak Punjabi and Hindi, right? Yeah. So, yeah, so this dream was that I became half as talented as Duri. And I was smiling oh, ear to ear. <laughs> right? <laughs> Creating paintings. <laughs> yeah, right, exactly, just like that. Oh yeah. So Duri, if you're watching this, uh, hum aapke bahut bade fan hain. And so Elsie, who's Brazilian, is going to try to say the same thing, right? Hum aapke bahut bade fan hain. Hum aapke bahut hum ek fan hain. I found a nice one. Look at this. Oh, that is rare, right? Yeah. It's smiling just like you. And see, look at that smile. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, Elsie. Gee, I'm Elsie, me. <laughs> so this really fresh smelling uh, mango and a couple of others are from an offering that somebody made this morning or last night. It's got all kinds of fruits, flowers, a bottle of wine. Right, Elsie, what is this? Can you just tell people what this might be? This is an offering for who they believe is a girl that lives in the ocean, they okay. call Yemanja. Ah, okay. And they ask for blessings from Yemanja. I see, I see. Wow, how cool. So this is probably Africa influenced. Um, so we put the mango back where it belongs. Right there. And maybe spirit that lives in the ocean give happiness to the people that made this offering today if i ever start painting large format i found myself a painting stick <laughs> that's the one thing about painting large format i miss it you know when we lived in uh, maryland i would often paint paintings that were four feet by four feet or larger um, and this stick if you put a paintbrush at the end of it, it would be perfect for large paintings. Uh, and Elsie found this on the beach. It's probably been in the water for a long time. It's very strong. And uh, yeah, it's kind of cool.
else out of the um, three sketches that I made yesterday. Take a look at these. So tell me which one you like the best. I like this one. You know, interesting that you say that. I like this one too. It's my favorite out of the three. And do you know why? No. Because this one is more precise, right? It is. And the reason it's more precise is because this one, people were still. I was able to draw it because ev everybody was in one place, pretty much. Mm -hmm. These ones, I had to work fast because, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like, you know, people it were moving. moving. Mm -hmm. this, the four girls that were in the band, they were moving all the time. Mm -hmm. So I had to go fast. And then same here, the bartender. He's, he was the only one that was kind of not moving so much but all these people were coming and going different people all the time mm -hmm. so that's that's the reason but yeah I, I, I like this one too it does make a, a big difference when you cut your mustache and shows your lips I want to be looking at your mouth all the time <laughs> <laughs> you like my lips yeah La Bellas? Labios. <laughs> what do you call that? Meus Labios. Meus <laughs> Labios. <laughs> Disculpa. Oh, Eu não falo muito português. Eu, pouco, eu falo pouco português. <laughs> Actually, na verdade, você está falando muito português ultimamente. Estou orgulhosa de você. Mm -hmm.